Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here's the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, and again, I've got the multi-talented multi-entrepreneurial, serial entrepreneur, Duran Frazier from ReserveLand.com with me from beautiful Carlsbad, California. And let's just be clear, Duran, you have lost all complaining privileges in my book simply because what did you do today? I, I surfed for about three hours. Yeah, you had like a family day on the beach. I did have, and in fact, I, I actually snuck in a little family day yesterday evening as well and surfed again till sunset. It's just wrong. What, what's, what's the temperature there? Today, uh, today, yesterday, right around 80, 82 degrees. It's, it's so good, but so, so good. So what can you possibly have to complain about? You've lost all complaining privileges. You're I making have. a lot of money. Your family's healthy and happy. You're living off the beach. You can do whatever you want. I don't ever hear you complaining about anything anymore. So uh, this this podcast, I'm not taking any of your crap. Deal? Dude, <laughs> nothing will ever change. I will always give you crap. Uh, that's number one. Number two is I don't normally complain um, unless I just looking back on it. We've talked about this numerous times when you've when you've taken your um, what's what's the word I can use for you, Mark? Your your create your creativity. And My realistic. genius. Your genius in real estate and using it against me when you do this. <laughs> well, that that fine. Yeah, that you've it's, done a few. You done, you've done a few times, but it's always it's always come out good because I don't hold grudges. Uh, but that's but that's okay. We've already talked about this. You know, it's water under the bridge uh, until the next episode. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell, <laughs> I can tell you've let it go. We'll talk about that another time. Dran, Dran and I. Whatever. I'm not talking about it now. We have a love, we have a love, 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 hate relationship. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look, when you've known somebody for over 12 years, things are going to happen. It's a we're relationship. Like you're going to have like ups, brothers. you're going to have downs. The, we're like I, I just don't like that you're always dwelling on, the, on that one deal. No, I'm not, it's not, I don't even know what deal you're talking about. But, hey, you we have – you look, about. you got the looks, and I got – and I don't know what I got. I got, I don't know, gray hair, balding. But, again, I'm not complaining. Oh, I got a beautiful wife. That's right. That's I did right. get a beautiful wife. Yeah. So, but you, you do too, so we can't really talk about that. You're right, right. Uh, no, my, my wife's beautiful, but she's not a model. She's not professionally beautiful. Golly, stop it. Just stop it. It's fine. Anyway, All right, listen. Thank listen. you. Let, let's, let's start the show. Okay. Okay. Let's Nobody wants to hear about our personal lives and your personal vendetta against me. From, yes. Like five years ago. So <laughs> this, this is the deal. Last week, we talked about social media and... Okay, I want to know your experiences with social media. I'll tell you my experiences with social media and whether or not we can both agree that this is something worth exploring, worth doing, something that, that's important for your marketing in land. Agreed. So what, what do you think? First of all, I, I'm going to give you my two favorite sites, so you guys might want to take note of this. One is MySpace.com, and second is Friendsters, <laughs> Friendster.com. Both of those have changed my life dramatically. Um, and I heard there's a couple of small ones dragging right behind, like maybe Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter. Um, anyways, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, obviously, social media. For me, being, being such a social butterfly, uh, it's even oh, it's opened the, the door of opportunities for me in business, relationships, I have several virtual friends I've never met before, which is really neat. Um, and then, uh, and then, you know, when it comes to business, obviously, and what, what I'm, what I'm learning is your, your business actually has a personality and it can be shown through social media online. So, and that's what Google has discovered as well. Yeah. But how do you do that? How do you, okay. I'll, I'll tell you my experience with social media. I'm, I, I suck at it. And I think, okay. I, I think it's just my age. Honestly, I think I'm just, I, I'm at that point in my life. I think like growing up, you know, privacy was like a big deal, right? Now there's no privacy. I wrestle with that. And then you, you kind of wrestle with the fact that, you know, are we friends with our customers? Are, is this business? 
Like, are they blended? So, you know, finding that voice for me on social media has been very difficult. And I, it's like, I don't know what to do. I, I, it's hard for me. Yeah. I, um, I, I'm a little different than you, but you know, I, you know, if you, if you really you're younger think about than me. It, yeah, but if you think, if you think about that, this for a moment, your, your, your real life personality is very similar to your social personality. Whereas my real life personality is really, really similar to my social personality. Meaning I like to talk about things with people and discuss things on Facebook you know, have a conversation. I, I like commentary. I like discussing whether it's politics or religion or whatever it is. I like to debate. I'm a debater. Yeah, uh, yeah, but is that really, okay, so from reserve land's point of view, how does that serve reserve land? No, no, I'm, 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 I'm talking more, more from a personal level, but then into a business, and, I, and I'll share this with you as you, as, as, as a business and running a business, how that interacts with, from a, from a business level is totally is, is totally similar in terms of your business, the way you work, the way you run your operation. If you are hip, if you are young, if you are open to talking with your customers and your clients, if you are open to commentary, they will come and they will, they will respond. But you have to do things that intrigue the client, meaning you have to do different things. You can't be, it's not, there's no status quo anymore. You have to be creative. What, what draws the marketing eyes to your brand? What draws the marketing attention to your land? So it's doing things that, you know, dressing up like a ninja, standing on your land, doing something fun <laughs> and creative. Um, and, like and, and for your, for your, you know, for your people listening here, obviously we can, we can talk about some of the, the funny things that we've come up with. Um, but, you know, one of, the, one of them was just, you know, being land ninjas because I feel like Mark and I dressed up in a, in a fancy samurai suit, um, you know, would be would be really funny but again it, it's to me it's not it's it's kind of a marketing piece that you can play to in your social media and it does it you know and sure not everyone's going to enjoy it is going to listen to it but at the end of the day if they know you're successful they like what you do they're going to listen to you and they're going to watch it so right right okay this is how i how i think about social media it's like a big party right so you go you go to your friend's house there's 500 people there. Everyone's having a good time. There's a big party. But when you go up to meet somebody, you don't say to them, hey, I'm Mark from Frontier Properties. I've got 40 acres in Nevada. Nice to meet you. Like, you got you to gotta talk to them and establish a rapport first, right? But as Frontier Properties, in that business mode, I don't. Uh, that's where I, I struggle because I don't know how to say, I, I'm really having a hard time finding my voice. Like, what do you what do you do as reserve land? Do you say, do you just give them valuable information about land, and then and then say, oh, by the way, here's land I just recently bought, and then they feel like they have a connection to you? See, this is the part in social media where I have trouble. Okay, I really, well, I really do, and I'm, you, I'm, I don't spend as much time as I probably should, given the price. <laughs> it's free. It's just my time. I just yeah, but yeah. but here's what you're you're talking to me like I know what I'm doing when it comes to social media for my 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 land business, and I don't. You don't. I, to, to be, so you struggle with the same thing. Well, it's not that I struggle. It's that I know what I don't know, and I know enough to know that I'm not trying to build a social media land brand because at the end of the day, there's a lot of things that people do. Um, and, and I've seen it a hundred times where they try to build a social media brand around their, their company and they're, um, and they're, uh, you know, a B2B or a, you know, a B2C and, but not realizing exactly how to build that brand online, uh, and, and not even looking at the fact that maybe their customers don't want to interact with them, if that makes sense. And that comes back to us. Now, wait a second. Why wouldn't they want to interact with them? We all know the, we want to do business with people we know we like. And we trust. And if your friends can recommend, hey, I just bought land from this guy, isn't that isn't that great? If somebody posts on Facebook, they like your page and I just bought this property from Duran and it was a great deal, you should too. You don't think that has value? No, I definitely think it has value. Obviously, another thing that you can you can look at, and and you know, it is kind of under the blanket of social media is is the review aspect. 
so there, there is, there is something that I believe that you could do, but not necessarily creating, trying to create or focusing on creating a brand a so, or social media brand behind your real estate company. Now look at how many people have fa- I mean, social media it, it, it is fail. I mean, it, literally it's failed 99% of the time trying to build a brand online. And it's simply because you have to put your mind, you have to put your eyes um, in, in your, in your customer's head. So you can understand exactly what your customer is looking for and what he's going to want to see. Now, the problem is with land is buyers are so different and it's hard to really grasp which buyer is buying what, why is he buying? And so you, as the algorithm of social media kind of comes to a head and we start learning how um, to really understand each of these people's personalities and why they do the things they do. That's, that's something we could utilize to sort of build the, the, the social media brand. But to be honest with you, I, you know, Twitter to me, I mean, it's, it's unless you're really trying to, you know, and, and they, for most people that don't know, um, Twitter, Twitter is indexed in Google. So it, it helps sort of build. And, and so I think at, at Facebook, I think Facebook pay, fan pages as well. So you, it helps kind of build your social authority with Google and the algorithm and the, and uh, the search engine. So that is helpful. Do you, do you have a reserved land business page? Uh, I do, I do, but 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 rare, rare, rarely utilized. Rarely Re- utilized. Okay, I'm going there now. If I can find it, do I look under Duran or do I look under reserved land? I can't even uh, find it. Um, look under um, look under Duran. Right. No, I'm sorry. Look under reserve. I'm sorry. Look, what am I? I'm, I'm not with you here. Look under reserve land, not my name. Look under reserve. One word. It might be reserve. It actually might be reserve land management. Reserve land management. Three words. Okay. Reserve land management. Oh, I think I found it. I think. I can't even find it. Yeah, here it is. 111 people like you. That's pretty good. Thank you. I've been really working super hard at that. This is beautiful. I love this picture you've got up here. Okay, so so how do you do this then? I'm going to like your page. Here we go. I didn't do it right. See, I'm really bad at this. Okay, liked. I'm learning. I'm learning. Now you have 112 likes. So do you spend a lot – how much time do you spend on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn? Those, those are the three big ones for land. We're not going to spend time on Pinterest – Oh, any, oh, any oh. of these other groups, oh, are we? Are so wrong. I'm, I'm wrong. You like you Pinterest? So, I don't like Pinterest personally, but it's very, very valuable because what Pinterest is, it's a visual marketing tool for clients. So if we can find a way, right now it's a lot more female oriented, but it's starting to change. So you're, we're getting to a point where a lot of guys are getting on Pinterest because, uh, you know, whether it's an infographic or a photo, it, it's all about photos, and photos are what sells our land. So it's a very interesting tool, and it's becoming more utilized, and they're finding ways to integrate the uh, the male species in Pinterest. Okay, so are you doing this yourself, or do you have a, a virtual assistant or your assistant doing your social media? I actually own a social media company with about 30 people, so they do all my – I'm just kidding. Could you imagine that? And I only have a hundred likes on my page. That'd be hilarious. Um, but no, I, I do, to be honest with you, I do a lot of it myself and, and I actually am because I'm well-versed on Facebook and, and LinkedIn and that kind of stuff. I do it myself and I don't spend enough time and I'm, and I'll have to be dead honest with you. I don't, I don't spend a lot of time there. So, so you don't think it's worth the time then? So, okay. If someone's asking us, Hey, I'm, I'm going to get into the land business. Do I need to have, do I, should I be spending time marketing? On social media, what would you say at this point? Is it worth their time? Hmm. You know, it's it's that's really a tough question to ask because that's if I, I asked it. If, if I felt like it was it was valuable, I'd be doing it. But the problem is, it, it costs a lot of money to get it right, and then at at that level, obviously, there's a, there has to be a measurable ROI in terms of understanding what the value is for creating the brand and continuing to build the brand online. So to create a social media brand, you are spending money. I mean, I, you know, there's a, I had a company pitch me on, I think it was $1,500 a month to run a Facebook, uh, to run our Facebook uh, campaign for another company that I'm invested in. And it was just interesting to me, but I realized that they are, they are, I mean, they go to, they go to these conferences and they learn. I mean, these things change every day. I mean, Google, Google changes the algorithms. 
uh, just to make sure that they know that they're in control and let you know they're in control. You know, Facebook does the same thing. I mean, they control everything. So at the end of the day, they can change. When Facebook fan pages changed uh, whatever it was nine months ago, it, it literally changed everything. We, I had built a really neat page, and three months later, it was lost. And uh, oh, it, was, it was a page you could click to. I think you could search on it. It was really neat. It was a back end, like an API that was built into um, to an iframe that, that, that was on the fa- Facebook fan page. It was really neat. Anyway, so uh, I, will, I don't want to get too technical here, but I don't, I don't yet see. Um, I mean, and again, it's not that, 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 it's, it, that there's no value. It's just that I haven't quite figured out the value. I mean, you know what I think it could be valuable that we should probably be doing is – after we make our sale, we have that customer. That's when we say, hey, let's connect more socially. Because now they've done business with you, right? They already, they already understand what you're doing, what you're all about. They've already, obviously, they trust you and like you to give you money and buy from you. So maybe that's how you extend that relationship and add another layer on so that when they are ready to buy another piece, or refer their friends, now you're on that platform with them. Hey, we're Facebook friends, you know, Jim or whatever. Hey, uh, let people know about Frontier Properties USA or the Land Geek or Reserve Land and or, you know, tweet about it, whatever it is. See, that's the thing. I don't even have the right language for it. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah, you sound, is that something you, sound, you do? How do you, you even do it? I don't know. Okay, so so there is, a, and as you're talking, I was thinking of a way, like having them give you a review. So you set up the process, whether it's Yelp, whether it's Google reviews, uh, and I, and that's not. The, I don't want to get into Yelp, but but I don't trust Yelp. In okay. fact, you, you have ten good reviews on Yelp, and then Yelp calls you up a week later and tells you uh, you need to join their marketing program, pay them three hundred bucks a month. They'll wipe all your bad reviews away and keep your good ones. But if you don't, if you decline that, they'll wipe all your reviews away, especially and, and including your good ones. So it's a it's a silly system based around one thing, which is money. But then again, that's what makes the world go round. So, um, but discussing that, you're right. If I if I had somebody that bought for me and I said, Hey, go to, go to Facebook, my Facebook fan page or our Facebook fan page. And just, you know, let us know what you thought, you know, you know, give us your opinions. And if anybody comes out and, and if you do that, we'll give you, you know, $20 off your, your next monthly payment or, right. we'll give, or we'll create some sort of affiliate. And for those that don't know what affiliate marketing is, basically um, it, it's it's a percentage of of a sale that somebody else brings to you. So if you're typing in shamp, you know, organic shampoo, and it comes up with a site that that isn't Amazon, but but has like an Amazon box inside, and then you click the box, and it takes you to Amazon for the cart, and you buy. Um, that's called an that's called an affiliate marketing site, and that and that person that initially got the click has a cookie on his computer for 30 days. At which point he gets a commission, not just on what you buy there, but for the next 30 days, whatever you buy, unless you clear your cash. And that's how affiliate marketing works. That same system, basically, it, you, you probably wouldn't have something as integrated as, as an Amazon and put a cookie on the screen. But you could certainly go back and track, hey, I was referred by this guy from the Facebook fan page, said he liked, you know, liked the property, whatever the case is. And then you find a way to reward him. Right, right. You know what I'm going to do? What's that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit. To 90 days of being on social media. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to blog every other day, okay? I'm going to take that blog. I'm going to push out to Facebook and Twitter. I don't do Pinterest, though, right? Try it. Learn it. Just be a put, man. Pinterest is, on a is just limb. images. Be a man. Go on a limb and just do it. Mark. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I'm, I'm definitely going to commit to Twitter and Facebook. And I'm, so I'm going to blog every other day. I'm gonna to go to Twitter. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna and I'm gonna tweet it. And I'm gonna to go to Facebook. I'm gonna to try to build my fan page with likes, and uh, and then see what happens and see if I if I can get a a really good analytic of return on investment for my time. I I'd love to see how that works out. Um, the virtual assistants aren't gonna help you, so you be, you you have to be personally involved. Okay. So, Duran, what are you going to do to test your social media strategy? Or are you going to do anything? Maybe I'm going I'm to watch you, actually, and I'm going to steal all your ideas. <laughs> See, that's right. I'm a moving target, baby. Exactly. You can't copy me. I'm constantly <laughs> innovating. That is almost true. 
<laughs> no, you know what? I, let's do the Pinterest Facebook challenge. You do something on Pinterest. I'll do Facebook and Twitter and see if we get anything from it. Uh, that's actually a good idea. Why and here's how we can track. Let's track. You know what your current um, traffic is on your site. And you can also track, obviously, your, your Google Analytics. Why don't you track your analytics and then look at the source of the analytics? Okay. And, and then uh, from there, uh, we, can, we can probably track what percentage you got from, from uh, Facebook, from Twitter, and then I can track what I got from Pinterest. Okay. So next week, then, so we can both agree that social media could be valuable if you committed to it. We don't know. Neither one of us are doing anything with social media right now. Neither one of us have a strategy, and we haven't needed one. But we can both agree that it's probably not a bad idea. Is that true? That is 100% true. Now, another another thought. Actually, I don't, I don't want to give you this tip, Mark. Yeah, well, that's what I'm going to ask you. I know you got to go, so you're going to have to give me the tip of the week. Okay. Well, there's a, it's, it's not a tip, but it's just something that's, that's sort of useful. And for those that don't know Facebook very well, obviously Facebook has an ad platform. And within, within Facebook's ad platform, which has actually morphed uh, several times in the last six months, there's ways to actually promote a particular post. And if you're not on Facebook, you don't see it. If you are, you'll see it now, under, even, even under a private post. If you post something that you feel is important and you, wanna, and you want to broadcast that, you can promote the post. You can pay like literally instantly 20 bucks, and you can promote that post um, to – a thousand people or two thousand people or broadcast to friends of friends or however you want to do it. In this case, we're talking about land. So there's a way you can actually broadcast a particular post and you can circle that post around people. So when you're creating these marketing campaigns, you can, you can kind of hone in your demographic by, by clicking, you know, male, female, um, age. Um, you can, you can buy people that like a certain page. So if, if someone likes, uh, offgrid.net, whatever that, that website is, um, you can, you can track people that like a particular page and then, and that, that will broadcast to those people. So it's a little secret tip, Mark, don't steal it from me, but I just, I kind of thought about now. And it, and again, because it evolves so much, it's so hard to be, you know, we're always land, 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 where are we buying? What are we acquiring? You know, we're looking at different, you know, you know, different places to go. Uh, and, and purchase property, it's hard to really go, okay, well, you know, what are we going to do? How are we going to attack the social media? Because at the end of the day, we could go to a social media company and say, hey, could you help us out? We get a virtual assistant. But are they really going to have the ability to understand land like we do, know our clients who are buying? The, the answer is probably no. Yeah, and that's the thing is I actually looked into that, and they're like, I can't be you. Yeah. No one can be you or me, but they can just provide, you know, articles on land and just that's it, really. That's what they can do. They can search for articles and say, "Hey, this is interesting." But no one can be us. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I've always wanted to be you, Mark. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> who who wouldn't want to be? I mean, you know, after your day today, yes, uh, you'd rather be in 100 degree weather in Scottsdale, sitting in an office. Exactly. Like me. I don't exactly. blame you. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, that, that's a good tip of the day. Uh, Facebook, is this called Facebook ads? Correct. Okay. So since we're along the lines of social media, my tip of the week is going to be a WordPress plugin. And uh, let me go to find it here, if I can find it. Um, here we go. It's, I think it's, it's S, is it Yoast? Dran, you know WordPress really well. You know, yeah. this, you know this plugin. It's been like downloaded like two million times. Yes, I'm, I'm logging in now. Let me take take a look here. Posts, all posts. This thing's incredible because it really helps you with your search engine optimization. Um, and it's really it's really it, easy. So Mark, okay, okay, it's, it's WordPress SEO by Yoast. It's a WordPress plugin. And I highly recommend it. I highly recommend you blog. And when you blog, use this plugin, WordPress SEO by Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T. Duran, I know you got to run. Yep. I, I, you know, I will tell you that I, one of the things that I've been doing for several years, and, it, and it's really important, and, 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 and on WordPress, only because we're, we're there, I'm going to talk about it. I, I have several WordPress websites 
and and I I always have problems with them because I don't update them constantly. So always remember that if you're going to build a WordPress website and you're going to do social media and you're going to blog, that you're going to want to be very careful of protecting your site. And there's a couple of sites and we'll mention them and next time we we talk about it uh, that you pay you know whatever it is ten or twenty bucks a month and they are they they are your security because I have a I have my own server and on my server I get hit frequently by these. These different people that, for whatever reason, want to attack your website and put in malware and uh, and viruses. So, anyway, yes, I like the reserved land site. I want yes. to get it. Yes, yes. So, I get a lot of dot ru. On yes, my, on my uh, counterize. That's when I, when, I, when I when I check my traffic. What are they doing? Uh, they're they're probably they're they're probably guys that are living next door to you that that have a um, what do they call that a um, Man, I'm forgetting a gosh that doesn't where you uh, it's a it starts with a P and I'm just at the top of my head where you can uh, it's a proxy and uh-huh. so it's a proxy server where you basically can go to any you can you can you can pretend like you're in another country or you'll use a different country's um, you know domain and you will and you'll basically just try to break into sites and I don't know what they're doing they're probably trying to steal information they're but they're most of the time they're bots. So they're bots that are created, and they just send these bots out over and over and over, and they find these vulnerabilities in WordPress especially because it's open source. It's easy to find vulnerability, and they attack it. So, okay. And that's the unfortunate part, but it happens frequently. It's happened to me a couple of times, and it's been a couple of – there's actually sites that I've had to absolutely erase, and, and, and I never even put them back up again. Yeah, but so. I want to tell everybody, don't be afraid of WordPress out there because Google loves WordPress. Oh, no. And, I'm not, I'm yeah, not so that. It, for marketing – which really is what we're talking about here. I mean, yeah. I know we're talking about social media, but it's, it all it goes down into inexpensive marketing. Use, you know, definitely use WordPress. Hundred percent. I, I hundred percent agree with you. I would never go on anything else. I mean, look, I'm not paying when I have the problem, and again, I have a full server, so that's why I'm. That's why I deal with the issue. And 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 generally speaking, the hacks happen all the time. And if you're on it, if you're using HostGator or using GoDaddy for your servers, you're not going to have problems like I have. Because I control my own, I control my own server. So, right. but and don't be, yeah, definitely don't be scared of WordPress. I wouldn't use anything else. So, all right, all right, are we good? Are we good this week? I think we're good, Mark. So next week, I can count on you. One hundred percent. Duran Fraser Reserveland dot com. Check out his site. Leave a comment. Friend him on Facebook at what is it? Reserve Land Management. Go to his reserve land management page. Please don't friend me on Facebook because I will decline you if I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, then go to his. Just go to his Facebook. What is it? Your your business page, right? Like yep. reserve, like land, reserve management. land management. Like the fan page. Like my yeah. Like and like my fan page, which is Frontier Properties USA, and like the Land Geek, and leave me a comment on the blog, uh, thelandgeek.com whether or not you like this blog or not. I hope you do. I hope you're getting something out of it. I really do. This is Mark Podolsky, The Land Geek, signing off. Anyways, check out uh, www.thelandgeek.com. Check out FrontierPropertiesUSA.com. And uh, if you have to, go go check out Duran's site. I feel badly for the guy. He's wasting away in San Diego. ReserveLand.com. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Land Geek. Join us next time for more tips, secrets, and information that will help you succeed. Stay connected with The Land Geek on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelandgeek.